the thing that I want to stress to you guys more than anything, um, you should be able to look at any asset and know when to get in and no direction of it. So this is the VIX uh, mini future. So for those of you dream team, you should look at the VIX future and to swing trade it. Snipers, same thing. Is the direction of the VIX future currently up or down? This is the five year month that we're looking at. The current direction is down. The highest 37, uh, the low is 1685. And of course we can see that the color is currently red. So if we look at the big boy VIX, which tells us what volatility is actually doing, we can see volatility is at 1955. Of course, it was here up in the 80s last year. Now it is swinging down to the downside. And if the VIX gets back to this 13 area, 12 area, that will be a time that we'll probably see more volatility start to kick in and then things will swing down. So remember this, whenever the VIX is up, the market is down. And then when the VIX is down severely, that is a decent time for you to look to buy. And on a Mark Cuban episode, I gave you guys exactly when you should look to get in. Silver, let's look at silver real quick. Is silver to the upside or downside? I'll give you five seconds to type in chat. And these bars are called, I'll save it for another day. Silver is to the upside. So when you start to go look at all the assets that are there, you understand what the entire market is doing. So this is natural gas. Natural gas is to the upside. But here's the funny part. If you look at the entire history of natural gas, natural gas is going down. That's why I tell you guys, you got to zoom out because without knowing direction, it does not matter where you get in. If you're on the wrong side of the traffic, put this in chat. Knowing the direction is more important than a great entry. So once you have time in the market, right? So when you have time in plus timing the market plus true direction, you're able to hit more home runs that way let's go look at gasoline futures is gasoline futures to the up side or the downside put in chat previous high was three three point six three one we are at two point one two is to the upside or downside let's go look at palladium palladium is a rocket right now and has been since last year and if we're looking at color structure, you can see we've had all green candles with this, ex with the exception of that sliver here. And then back here in 2018, palladium is an asset that not many people talk about, but is important. What is the best use case for palladium and what industries use it the most? Let's go to lumber. For anybody in, um, excuse me, this is live cattle. I'll go to lumber in a second. Live cattle. Let's take a look at live cattle slightly up but is not moving aggressive as aggressively as it could and should be now let's look at lumber features lumber has been taken off like crazy and this is what i'll tell you guys about a base so you can see here in 2017 2018 it was hovering in the same base and then it finally took off because of demand um, and even before 20, it's why I tell you guys, if you go look at every asset, there are some signs that things will begin to show. Uh, there are some signs that will begin to reveal themselves that will let you know what could be coming. So while everyone was saying, oh, I can't believe that housing began to go up during this crash. Well, this wasn't a residential housing crash this time. But we can see in April of last year that we had a huge beginning upswing. And then by summer things took off crazy. So if you're looking at all asset classes and commodities, it will give you an inkling for what is being done. So lumber, the lumber future would have told you that there was going to be a housing boom. Let's look at gold. Gold right now is down. So much money going into crypto, going into Bitcoin, going into tech stocks. Um, there is, I know everyone plays it as like an inflation hedge. It's great. You know, if you were in the 1970s, but it isn't the best placed bet for sure to hedge. Let's look at the S&P 400, the EMD. Is EMD to the upside or downside? Dream Team, we got to trade this one a lot more. Let's look at crude. Crude got destroyed. The future went negative, and then what's been 
a hell of a turnaround since then. And the same top that was made here pre-crash is at the same level from last year. And then finally, let's look at the Bitcoin future. Take these levels down real quick. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen months of green candles. That gives you a clear sign where it is going to go. And if we look at something like the Japanese yen in comparison, the Japanese yen is flat. And if we look at the euro future, we can see that it's to the upside as well. Direction, last lesson, which is most important, true direction trumps everything else. Until you know what the real direction of an asset is, it doesn't matter. A lot of you will be like, hey, man, why don't you like this? Why don't you like this company? Why don't you like this stock? Um, you're just, you know, hating. On, I'm like, no, I'm not hating on it. It's just not performing. So when you guys are asking me, this is a custom configuration. But when you guys are asking me about coin, like, what did you think? I'm like, the IPO is great for those who invested three years prior. It's great for family and friends. Um, who were able to get out on IPO day for those who had a lockup period, it sucked. And then you can see it went down to 250. Long term, will it matter? No, but I still want time in the market. This is my formula plus timing the market. I know some people say you can't time the market. I proved that that's not true. And then knowing true direction coming out of the gate, it was not going to be beneficial to buy Coinbase at 420 or 425. Got to wait for it to dip. And once you know this, you have your edge. Stay focused on mastering your craft. Nothing else matters. That is what is going to give you your alpha, your edge, elimination of risk. And once you have that risk parameter set for 1.2 to 1.6% in every endeavor, it'll help a hell of a lot and you'll win more. I hope this has been helpful. Helpful. I love you guys. Over and out.